Hello my Soka Universe! First unpacking video of the year and before we get to that let me wish you a very healthy, happy and successful new year 2024 to you and all your loved ones. Yes, I wished it already to you in my previous video but you know these usually get a little bit more views so I want to be safe to have wished you that. And as is custom in the little family that, that we have, we stretch the exchange of uh, presents over the entire holiday period for the simple reason that, you know, if the kids get too many presents at once, it's not fun. And also for us, you start to appreciate presents a little bit more if it's not all at once. So we do on um, Christmas Eve a little bit, we do on Christmas Day and we do on the New Year. Those are basically our gift giving days and New Year's is always a little bit of a smaller one. However, I managed to source a nice jersey for me that I guess fitted right into the budget that is uh, suitable for a New Year's present. If you would like, I found it actually earlier this year in Wilhaben. I actually um, contacted the seller. The seller was conveniently not only from Linz, and it's no surprise that this shirt came from Linz, as we'll talk in a little bit, but also conveniently very closely living to where I do. So uh, well, we could meet up. Yes, the meetup uh, was a little bit, little, little bit botched because we met at a store. And yeah, we were standing both there for five minutes before I realized, ah, maybe you're waiting for me. Yeah, okay, let's, let's do that. I got the shirt and then gave it to my wife to wrap it for me for New Year's as we I usually do now because you know I want to have some special shirts so I didn't I paid attention very quickly there whether to make sure that it's an original which is obviously is and other, other than that I said okay please pack it for me and I will appreciate it from there not quite like the Giroux shirt where I really didn't see it this time around but you know it's all fine um, as I said this is a shirt this uh, that I'm not surprised that it came from Linz. It is a shirt of a team that I wanted for the longest time in my collection. And it's not of one of the leagues that I'm covering. This is a Swiss team. And maybe you know already which team I'm talking about. But uh, on top of that, this jersey is also pretty much the one that I would have liked to have. Which makes it actually extra special. And it features a lot of other special stuff as well. So. Without further ado, let me show you the jersey and then we'll take it from there. Who is my favorite Swiss team? Who is my favorite Swiss team? Young boys, Bern. And the jersey I always liked. There are some out there. I think then from Club Full Football shirts always said this is a jersey he doesn't like. I always liked this jer uh, jer jersey. It's basically the template that uh, Puma used for the World Cup in 2010 with all the brush stroke effects, which is something that I find really cool. So you see here all the, uh, we have the uh, yellow base, we have the black stripes, and then there's this white outer like this year's Young Boys jersey, but it's more geometrically, but here's the brush stroke effect. And it also goes into the yellow a little bit, which I think makes it really, really interesting to look at. We have the sponsor, we have of course the uh, Young Boys logo here, and then we have maybe the one bone of contention, but the the new one, or, or, or the current one, has has a, sim has a similar problem uh, that we have this yellow strikeout zone. Uh, the Nike jersey from this uh, year, actually, you know, it has the same pattern, but it goes more short. It's a little bit more symmetrical, but you know. Uh, I always wondered, wouldn't it be better if it would go over, but on, the, on this other side, I really don't mind it. Uh, this shoulder also feels, um, has the only one real blemish with a little teeny t a little pull here. Other than that, the shirt is for the age. Well, it's not, it's not really, really old in a really, really good condition. Um, but this jersey, the front is not only the only special thing. I also like that it has on both sleeves the, uh, v uh, the Visana sponsors that uh, were worn. I'm not sure if in the Swiss league they used to have, um, so here, here again, they used to have a league patch around that period, but it also of course features a back sponsor in Obi and a name set. Number nine, Marco Schneuveli. Such a Swiss sound sounding name, which basically when, when I saw that this is just too, too, too special and well worth the uh, 50 that I bargained down uh, to get this shirt, I thought, yeah, if I get it with na names and all the sponsors, makes it 
a pretty nice shirt. I also like that the name set here has the eBay logo uh, also in there, which I know is nowadays uh, the the norm in a, in, in a way it was probably back then as well, but it's still a nice touch to have it there. The player on the back, Markus Neuveli, he is actually from Bern, which I think makes it extra special. And I guess this is also uh, why uh, the person who bought the shirt got him on there, I would assume. Uh, he played for Bern for quite a while, uh, scored I think 120 uh, appearances, 19 goals. So yeah, it's uh, definitely, I like the local touch. I personally didn't know him, but since it's very Swiss sounding, it's a Swiss shirt. I thought it just fits. Yes, number nine, a more exotic number would be nice, but Schneuveli, that's already a very exotic name. Although I have to say, uh, in typically Puma fashion of the time, lowercase letter lowercase letter which i was never a real fan of but hey it adds to the uniqueness of the shirt that leaves me answering one question why are young boys my favorite team in switzerland well part of the answer is on me but uh first of all let me say i find bern is probably the most beautiful city in switzerland at least the most beautiful that i have seen i really like the you know the location and how the old town is over the river Royce and then you have the you know uh, the bears uh, around the city and the old town is really 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 nice yes there are some scary fountains in there like the Hindley Fressa the man eating the little children to scare off the little children but you know uh, beside that there's a whole lot of charm in there Einstein house as well so you know Really, really, really a nice town, well worth your way visit. I, it's my personal favorite in Switzerland, and although there are some others that might uh, qualify there as well. So it's just from simply from that point of view, and having been in Bern a few times, automatically uh, would mean that I would need a Young Boys shirt. But as I said, Young Boys is my favorite team from Switzerland. And for a short while, I thought it will be Grasshopper just because of the funny name. But Young Boys is an equally interesting and non-Swiss non sounding name. <laughs> Um, once I realized, you know, Young Boys Bern sounds already cool and that I liked Bern as a city. And then, in addition, when I learned about the connection with Lask, immediately Young Boys, Young Boys, Young Boys. Now, uh, why with Lask? There's a fan friendship, a long-standing one going back to the early 80s where the fans, uh, where the teams were drawn together in an Intertoto Cup. Yeah, now defunct. They liked life, like each other and both teams really keep that friendship alive uh, since then. Uh, both sets of fans, I should say. Uh, it's to the point where the only other jersey than the Lusk jersey that can be worn in the fan block for Lusk is a Young Boys jer uh, jersey. Both teams uh, regularly sending messages congratulating each other when there was a success happening. You see actually within Linz, fun, uh, interestingly enough, Young Boys stickers. I, you know, when I walk around, I find a uh, few Young Boys stickers. It's always something. If you go in the city, just look around and you see the graffiti and so on, you know a little bit about the team that's there. Uh, so in Linz, Young Boys is quite present. And I also remember that there is a Bernese flag sometimes um, waved. At least it was in the old stadium. I don't think I have seen it in the new one, but I also thought that this was very, very interesting. So yeah. Finally, finally, and it annoys me a little bit. This is my, only my second Swiss jer jersey because it always should have been a young boy's jersey first. But I made up for it. Uh, last story, when I was last time in Bern, I actually had all the intention to visit the young boy store. And I even made it in such a way, put it in the na navigation system. And then there was, for me at least at first, no obvious way to uh, park there. And while I was looking, I entered the roundabout and then boom, I'm already on the interstate and past the stadium, which was a real bummer. Yes, it would have cost a lot of money uh, there because it was a Swiss, <laughs> Swiss francs and so on. And I think I got here a better one uh, to be honest as well. But yeah, uh, that annoyed me. Yes, I was driving by the new bank of the start. The Swiss should have made it there because you know this was also a season where they won a uh, cup and uh, you know both cup and championship but in any case let me know what you think about this jersey do you have any young boys jerseys in your collection um how was your new year's did you exchange any presents in any case give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video talk to you soon bye hey there i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too 
Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.